So we knew we had to reinvent ice cream. So we we knew there was going to be nitrogen. I started testing, used some different bowls. Now, there was an article written by Theodore Gray. It was in Popular Science. We did read that, and it's noted in our patent application. So that was uh, something that's, that is uh, prior art in what they, in patent D's. Anyway, the point of the matter is that um, he said some things in there that led people into one direction or another and, and uh, to believe that it would be done one way or another. So it's, he says, fold like egg whites. Well, he also says, use liquid nitrogen syrup. Well, look, liquid nitrogen is not, not a syrup and you don't fold like egg whites. And so I actually had interviewed him years later and I said, why do you use these terms? And he said, well, so I was trying to show that I knew something about cooking. So I was trying to use a cooking term. And I was like, okay, well, it didn't really describe what, you know, the process. So we we um, we were led down one direction, you know, with the article. And really ended up finding uh, some very unique things. So I, um, I called some colleagues that I had at the chemistry department at uh, BYU. And I said, have you ever seen this being done? They said, yeah, we make it for, for uh, lit for the chemistry days. I said, can you sell it? And they said, no, it's not consistent enough. And everything I'd read or had seen indicated the same thing, that it was not consistent enough or that it was you know, hard and crusty in parts and, and you know, liquidy in, in other parts. And it really wasn't a commercial product. So we, we said, you know what? I think it, we can solve this problem. And it just was testing. Now I figured it was gonna take a year you know, to really figure out all the different systems. And it took us about four to five years really to get to the second store phase. And so we had, you know, enough knowledge to be able to open a second store. So it, it was, it was a pretty lengthy process and that's just trial and error learning. And, uh, there's a lot to learn. 